Hey. Tom. Hey, uh, is Margo around? Uh, no, actually, she went out. I don't know when she'll be back. Okay, thanks. Uh, Katie, can I talk to you for a second about Casey? Sure. He's having a little trouble in school. We spoke to his teacher today. What kind of trouble? Well, with his work, and he's been fighting with some of the kids. I think he's probably picked up on some of the tension around the house. Mm. Margo and I told him there will be no more fighting in this house, but I was hoping that if he brought anything up to you, you might be able to say something to reassure him. Well, does this mean you and Margo are going to try and work things out? Well, that's what I want. Well, is that what Margo wants? Because I know about you and Emily Stewart. Margaret told you that? No, I, I heard you guys arguing. Did uh, the boys hear any of this? No, no, thank goodness. They had gone to school already. They don't know. Well, I can only imagine what you must think of me right now. I want you to know I love your sister more than I've ever loved anything in my life. What happened with Emily was a mistake. And I promise, Margot, I will do anything to make this up to her, and it will never happen again. My family is more important to me than anything in the world, and I will do whatever it takes to keep us together. They just want to talk to you, Lucinda. You might call it an intervention. No. No, no, no. I call it an intrusion when you arrive uninvited of an evening when I have other plans. No, James won't be coming. Really? Trust me. Something came up. He won't be here. What is this? Is this an ambush? Lily is very worried about you. She asked me to invite... Lily is worried about... What on earth is in that... Oh, I get it. The ex-wife, ex-girlfriend, embittered ladies from James's past. Lily says James proposed to you. I can't believe you're even considering marrying him. I don't wish to talk about this. Well, are you? Do not take that tone with me, Margot. We are not at the police station. Is there a ring? A black pearl, perchance? Mm-hmm. Now, you can all go. Please, just hear them out for Lily's sake. Darling, you don't understand anything. I know what's going to be said. I mean, it's such a big mistake for anybody to marry James Stenbeck. It's more than a big mistake. It's a terrible mistake. That's quite an understatement. You know what? We have all gone through our own personal nightmares with James Stenbeck, and we're here. Why don't you listen to what we have to say? Unless you're afraid to hear I'm what that afraid. is. I'm certainly not afraid. And my heavens, I think we do have a quorum. Now, are we going to go in chronological order? How are we going to organize this? Do I have to relive my pain, or can I get a drink? Oh, that might be a good idea. Actually, you know, we're waiting for someone else to arrive. Oh, oh God. Lucinda! Oh, darling, we're in here. Are you insane? I've heard everything, and I am ready to spill my guts about my affair with Margo. Emily. Margo, I, I, I did you know you'd be here. Wasn't that funny? I was going to say the same thing to you. Do you want to leave? Or shall I leave? Why would you want Emily to leave? Uh, is there a problem here? I'm sorry, I didn't know. Uh, no, there's no problem. Well, I mean, I hope you'll both stay. We are here for a reason, you know, it's not a party. Yeah, but... you're right, we're here for a reason, and I don't see any reason that either one of us should leave. Good. I feel the same way. All right. I mean, I'm here about my affair with James. There is something going on here, obviously a problem, so maybe we might want to get it out in the open before we continue. What is wrong? Right, out with it. What have you done now, Emily? All right, yes, Emily and I are having uh, problems, but um, that's not what we're here to discuss today. We're here to discuss something else. Well, I thought maybe I could help. No, it's you not can't help. Personal. No. You know what? I don't mind talking about I it. I do. Actually. I think it might. I do. It isn't at all interesting. It's not what we're here for. So change the subject if you don't mind. That's fine. Okay. Well, uh, we're all here to talk with Lucinda about James because you've all been involved with him. And from what Lily tells me, you've all had some pretty bad experiences. That's one way to describe it. Julia, darling, this really isn't necessary. I know everything there is to know about James's past. I doubt that, Lucinda. So where is he? He's out of the country. Oh. 
Well, Lucinda, just so we fully understand the situation here, are you sleeping with James? You want me to kiss and tell? Oh, boy. Girls, I think that's a yes. Lucinda, what, what have you told him about the proposal? I haven't told him anything. Lucinda, what have you told him? I have him? not told him. I have not... I have not given him an answer. That means that you're considering it, and in the meantime, you're wearing his ring. <laughs> Come on, Barbara, what are you really doing here, really? Hmm? It sounds to me like you've lost your mind, and I'm here to help you find it. Since when did you care? Either of you, whatever happens to me. Listen, I think they really do want to help. Darling, you don't know what you're getting yourself into. These two ladies would like to see me step off the Walsh Tower. Come on. You think that I would ever believe that you care about choices I make, mistakes I might make, anything at all to do with my happiness? Margo, I think you're different. I really do. I think you mean well. It's just, my God, I couldn't take your advice on marriage, and marriage counseling. I mean, I, I can't take yours. I can't take... All right. This intervention is at an end. Oh, no, 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 it's not. Maybe this just isn't the best time for me to be staying here. Actually, I think it's a really good time. The boys love having you around, and I know your sister thinks a lot of you. Well, what do you want me to do, sit around and referee? No, there will be no more fighting in the house. Okay. Margot probably needs somebody to talk to right now. She's really, really angry at me, and I know she loves you. Well, I would do anything for her and the boys. <sighs> okay, thanks. Yeah, come on. Speaking of... Yes. Hey, hey Dad, how you doing? How you uh, doing? Can you do us a favor and drive us to the station tomorrow after school? Uh, what for? Well, uh, Emily said that she'd show us some of the sports clips in the library, and we didn't get a chance to last time. You know what? I don't think it's a good idea. Why not? Because Emily is very busy with the news division, that's why. Yeah, but she said we could stop in any time. Look, things are very hectic down there. I don't want you going down to the station. Your mom's not even here. She hasn't done dinner. I'm going to start that now. Oh, no, Tom, I'll do it. How would you guys like my famous pizza? Great. Great. Okay. I will help you out. Yes, indeed. Right. How can we go? You know what? Don't worry about it. Emily gave me her cell phone number and said I could call her. Anytime. Cool. Yes. Lucinda, I'm here to help Lily, and I'm not going to leave until I do. <sighs> and how long do you think that'll be? As long as it takes. Okay. Now, I had my affair with James before I was married. But I know how charming he can be. I know how he can lie. Among other things. Here, here. Of course, uh, all of you, you're just portraits of people who never can change, huh? Lucinda, the man has been a gun runner, a drug smuggler, a kidnapper, a blackmailer, and let's not forget murderer. Obviously, his next real career will be helping the poor. Can we all get to our relative points here? Now what, it was a year and a half, two years ago, after Diego died and my life was such a mess. Before we knew that James had risen from the dead again. Yes. <laughs> so I checked myself into the hospital to try and get my life back together. You remember, don't you? You know why he showed up? Why he drove me over the edge? So that he could laugh about it. That's the kind of person he is. He is vicious, he is cruel, and he loves to treat women like that. Now, do you really think it's going to be any different for you if you open up to him? Lucinda, he thinks women are toys. I mean, I remember the first time when please we met. Please do not repeat your loss of innocence for us, please. We don't need the details, Emily. Well, too bad. He took away my innocence, okay? And he had fun doing it. Just like Margot said, he used me. Come on, darling. I was there. You wallowed in oh, it. Oh, will you wake up? When I decided I didn't like being used, he started stalking me, remember? He made my life a living hell. But did he try to kill you? Yes. Yes, he did. I remember those hands, those thick hands around my throat. Tried to strangle me. He's tried to strangle all of us, but did he try to kill you? I mean, kill. 
I mean, thinking your next heartbeat was going to be your last. Ever had a 2,000 pound bull charging straight at your face? Excuse <clears throat> me? A bull? Where was this? In Spain. It was his way of celebrating our son's birthday. He lured me into the center of the ring with flowers he had left for me. You are the only woman on the face of this earth who would walk into the center of a bull ring to get free flowers. Shut up, Emily. I was young and I was terrified. How did you get away anyway? Did the bull just lose interest? Now Gunner saved me, sweet Gunner. And all I can think about is James sitting in the front row of that bull ring, smiling at me. And you know what? That was my marriage to him. And that's how your marriage to him will be too, Lucinda. I still have nightmares of him strangling me, Lucinda. No, I'm sorry, Emily. Barbara gets the points on the bull. You know what? This isn't a contest. It, Lucinda, it wasn't but a year ago that he had Holden and Sam as hostage, and he left them for dead. Now, I cannot imagine how Lily will feel if you actually go ahead and marry him after what he did to her. And Lily thinks that he's responsible for Sam and Kirk's disappearance. So do I. Oh, sorry. Better get it. It must be a breaking story. <clears throat> Hello? Uh, yeah. Emily? It's Adam. I ho I'm hope I'm not bothering you. No, not at all. Um... I was wondering, uh, do you remember when you said that Casey and I could go down to the studio and watch some of the sports clips? Yeah, sure. All right, well, um, we were thinking, uh, maybe we could do it tomorrow after school. I mean, but Dad said you were really busy, but you said we could come over, so... Yeah, no, no problem. So, tomorrow's okay? Sure. She said it's okay. Okay, Emily, um, thank you very much. Let's uh, talk to Emily. I just... Hello, Emily? Tom, what's wrong? 